All right, what's up, coach? Uh, my name is Ben Neighbors, and I'm the founder here at buildmysportsbiz.com. Uh, this is the home of helping coaches start their business. All right, so welcome to our YouTube channel if this is the first time you've ever watched the video. So today I'm going to be answering a question from Greg. Greg is a baseball coach who lives in Texas. I also live in Texas, um, and he asked me a really good question. He said, hey, Ben, do I need to have a website when I'm first starting my business? So I'm going to give you two answers, okay? The answer number one is what I wish I would have done, okay, when I first started. And answer number two is what every single person who I talk to now, this is what they focus on, okay? So answer number one, I had my first website, uh, right when I started. And it looked like a, a cartoon character uh, made it. It was absolutely horrible, right? And my problem was I spent a lot of time trying to piece together things. Like this was back in 2009. Like back then they didn't have Squarespace and these awesome website builders now that you'll see on the internet that make things, that make life easy, right? Back then it was very confusing very time consuming. I would spend hours on YouTube trying to figure things out. I was trying to create a logo. I was trying to do all this busy work that wasn't building clients, right? And so what I wish I would have known was, hey Ben, hold on. You don't need to have a website yet. You need to have a marketing system, right? You could have the best website in the world, but guess what? If you don't rank on the first page of Google, parents are not going to find you. So you need to understand how to do that. Fortunately, I know how to do that. I teach coaches in our mastermind how to rank number one on Google, how to rank on the first page so they can get a lot of traffic. But if you have a site and it's not on the first page, I think it's worthless, right? So instead of trying to focus all of your time on your site, you need to be focusing, how can you get in front of the ideal clients, no matter if you have a great website or not? Like, Parents don't care about your website. They care about you as a trainer. Like, are you someone who can help their son or daughter improve in whatever sport it is that you coach? Okay, so again, having a website is great. Like, that has helped me a lot recently um, as far as getting new customers because when parents type in San Antonio Private Soccer Training, they're going to see my website. It's right there, right? Um, that's, that's driven hundreds of customers to us, and that's great, but... At the beginning stages, you don't need to do that, right? Which is like the second way I would answer it. And you need to focus all of your time on how can you get in front of the ideal customers without relying on your website. Because even if you build a great site or you pay someone to build a great site for you, it's going to take time for that to register on Google. It's going to take time for people to see that. And I'm a big believer, like, you're going to drive way more momentum in the early stages of your business by connecting with parents, other coaches, other influencers, other influencers that can help drive more players to your program, okay? So do you need a website ultimately? Yes, you want to have your own brand. But starting off, you don't need to get bogged down by having this crazy website, these crazy funnels. Like, there's so many gurus out there who who try to teach um, that you need to do all this stuff like if you go to my site and I'll link it below like you will see how simple my website looks like it's literally like a two-page website it's a home page and an application form okay that has worked extremely well for me okay you don't need to have this crazy expensive thing um, you need to keep it very simple and if you have a good site a good payment system in the future like you are good to go, like running any sports academy, it does not matter, right? But again, at the beginning, um, just to answer the question that I, uh, that I said earlier, you do not need to have something right away, okay? Because all that's going to do is just be a distraction. It's going to distract you away from getting new clients, and you're going to try to focus so much time and energy on creating the best, most perfect site. And no one's site is perfect. Like I've, I've yet to see anyone's site who's like, wow, that is unbelievable, right? Unless it ranks on the first page, that's all I care about. So to answer the question, like I said, you don't need to have one initially. Don't let that be something that slows you down. Um, 
in the future, yes, you would want to have one. And especially if you know what you are doing or you can pay somebody who knows what they're doing, then you are in business there. Like then you can have a site that is reliable, right? So I hope that answers uh, your question and I hope that saves you a lot of time because in the initial stages of you building your business, there's one thing that you need to focus on and that is selling. You need to sell your services and you don't have to have a website to do that. And like to prove it to you, uh, two and a half years ago, like we had a YouTube channel um, called Soccer Entrepreneur where we still upload videos to. Like I did not have a website for that for at least a year. All I was doing was talking in videos like this and driving people to a phone call and talking to them over the phone and making sales. Like that right there is proof that you don't even need a site. <laughs> All right, and we have a site now, of course, right? But remember, you need to start with the essentials. When you start your business, don't need to get bogged down by what everybody else is doing. All right, you don't need to worry about what your competitors are doing. You need to think about how can I serve players better than all of my competitors in my town? And how can I offer a premium service that everybody who comes across what, what you do, like they're going to be very impressed that you offer a service that no one can match. And that is how you win in your city. All right, whatever it is you're trying to do, doesn't matter what sport, that's how, like, that's why certain academies stand out. Like, I could go down the list of the best academies in every sport in my city because I've built relationships with all those coaches already. And I see what are they doing different? Why are they attracting all the players to their program? Why are those players staying all the time? Why are they not leaving? It's because they do the little things right, okay? So I hope this video helps you out. So again, I'm gonna just hit this on the, on the nail one more time. You don't need to have a site starting off, okay? Ultimately, you want one, especially if you know what you're doing, okay? So if you are a coach in any sport and you wanna learn how to start your business the right way, and you wanna learn how to take things to the next level, I would love to chat with you over the phone. All you have to do is very simple. Go to the first link in the description. It's buildmysportsbiz.com. You literally click on that button. Um, it goes to my website, and there's a big blue button at the top of the menu of, of that page. You click on that. There's an application form where you and I can chat over the phone together, um, and that's going to be where I can have a 15 to 30-minute phone call with you to see how I can help you with your business. And I would love to answer any questions you have. A lot of coaches who are starting, they have tons of questions, right? So I use that time uh, individually with you to answer all of the questions you have and see how I can help you out, right? So go ahead, check that out. If you guys like the video today, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you know that this video could help another coach that you know in your city or someone across the US or across the, the world, doesn't matter, I want you to share this with them um, if possible. We're really looking to build our subscriber base here uh, with with this uh, with this YouTube channel. So guys, thanks again. I really appreciate your time and I'll talk to you soon.